Hi guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Mom and I are here again with another Am I the Antagonist post, so let's hop right in. Am I the antagonist for bringing a friend home and letting her sleep on the couch when my mom was over and supposed to sleep on the couch? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just let's hear it first. Okay. <laughs> kind of sensitive, you no, know, being a mom, kind of sensitive to when <laughs> mom gets booted off the couch or something. Like, let's hear it. I gotta hear this one. I, 30 year old female, started college last year. During my second semester, I met Phoebe, 19. We were taking two classes together and we clicked immediately. We have a lot of the same interests, and she's just a kind and smart girl. Phoebe was diagnosed with cancer over the summer. She spent a few months in the hospital and now goes for outpatient chemo every couple of weeks. On Thursday, Phoebe called me and said her grandpa was supposed to drive her to chemo, but he never showed up and asked if I could take her. After her chemo, she fell asleep in the car. I decided to bring her to my apartment to let her rest because she is one of six kids at home and her house is loud, not a good place for recovering from chemo. When we got to my apartment, I woke her up, brought her to my couch, and brought her some blankets. She was very appreciative of me letting her stay at my apartment. The thing is, my mom is staying with us and she was supposed to be sleeping mm. on the couch. It totally slipped my mind when I brought Phoebe home. My mom got back and asked why Phoebe was here when she saw her sleeping on the couch. I explained the situation and she said it was rude of me to give up the couch without asking her. Mm -hmm. I called my husband, explained the situation, and he picked up an air mattress and extra blankets for my mom, but she's still mad I gave away the couch for the night. I took Phoebe home Friday afternoon. My husband says he gets why I did it, but he also gets why she's upset. Am I the antagonist for giving my friend the couch when my mom was staying with us? There is an edit, but let's mm. give initial thoughts. Oh yes, I'm still on team mom and all. How dare you give up my couch? Oh wait, never, never, never. Okay, okay are we gonna have like, <laughs> You're not in this. Okay, I should not take it take it personally, even though I'm a mom. But it's still inexcusable. I understand the situation. That's great that she wants to help her her friend out. Yeah. But the husband picked up an air mattress. She they could have offered that to the friend and say, "Hey, my mom." They, there are some air mattresses that are raised like beds, and they are really nice. So it doesn't mean just the little yeah. camping mat horrible thing on the floor. No. So, yes, it could be a raised one. Anyway, but if the couch was already promised to the mom, and she didn't discuss it with the mom, the mom should still have the couch. You make other arrangements for the friend. True. And, okay, so if that's too uncomfortable for the friend to rest, ask hubby if they can give up their room. They sleep on the couch or mat or whatever pad on the floor. There's no reason to, to do that to the mom when you already made an agreement with the mom. Then they should make other accommodations between their other sleeping arrangements. That's so, yeah. true. I'm not being cruel against the cancer so, um, patient. patient yeah. No, I'm just saying there are other options. Give those options to um, the friend, even if it means making her and hubby uncomfortable. I really love that option. Like, I'm definitely team OP sleeps on the air mattress. <laughs> because, yeah, like, her mom shouldn't come home and just be surprised that now she doesn't have a place to sleep. Like, that's right. that's pretty messed up. Let's read her edit. Wait, wait, I just want to comment, too. Think about it. When she um, kicked mom off the couch, she didn't even have a backup option for where mom would sleep. Yeah, she forgot about her mom altogether. Yeah. <laughs> so at least hubby thought about getting an air mattress, but I'm just saying, so yeah, she just bit pretty much what, like, mom, go get a room. I don't know what she was expecting mom to do. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, edit. I was told to add this to the post, but Phoebe's family couldn't care less that she's sick. They didn't visit her in the hospital. They don't take her to appointments unless they're not working. They don't have plans and they feel like going, oh, that's part of the same thought. Okay. So they don't, they didn't visit her in the hospital. They don't take her to appointments unless they're not working. They don't have plans and they feel like going. And they don't make 
her siblings let her rest. She asked her mom if she was taking her to get a procedure done, and her mom told her they can't put their lives on hold just because <gasps> she's sick again. Oh, no. This part wasn't in the comment, but she shares a room with her 13-year-old sister, and her sister constantly has friends over and they hang out in the room. Phoebe has come over so she could take a nap on the couch before because she can't rest at home. Oh, I got comments. So she's still <laughs> trying to justify why she brought Phoebe over. No one disagrees with that. That's great. Great to be a friend right. and to be able to accommodate her and to help her to get some rest. And, you know, it's horrible that Phoebe's uh, mom is saying just because she's sick again. Cancer's not just sick again. It's not yeah. like, oh, she has another cold. So, yeah, so the thing she's justifying isn't even the issue. It's great that she could let over. The, um, so that doesn't excuse it. And another thing, if mom has the couch, even though they got an air mattress, where are they going to put it? Mom has a couch. She should have some privacy, and she shouldn't have to share the room with someone else. So I... Uh, I mean, I don't think she had privacy on the couch to tell you I mean, in the first place. <laughs> like somebody's... Like, let's put this air mattress right here beside the couch and have someone else sleeping right there by you. I just meant, you know, little, little, the home little space. So. Yeah. Yeah, that is complicated. Like, I definitely have sympathy for Phoebe, but... Mm -hmm. Um, yes, the couch was already promised to her mom, mm -hmm. so if she knew she messed up, then she had an obligation to make it right. Mm -hmm. uh, I think your option of her and her husband taking the air mm -hmm. mattress was a really good solution. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and I, I agree that she's arguing the wrong point. The point is not like, why did you help someone who's sick? Like, nobody's, mm -hmm. nobody's asking you that. <laughs> like, it's more like, why are you telling your mom to sleep on an air mattress after you had arrangements with her and you're the one who changed things and forgot she was visiting or something yeah and i see what this is going to be an ongoing um issue because until um phoebe finishes chemo or else declare cancer free yeah she still can't rest at home so it seems like they need to make some arrangements for like regular stays for phoebe if they really you know mm -hmm. they're concerned about helping yeah. so yeah they definitely need better accommodations Okay, so I would definitely say my verdict is, um, and to be extremely clear, is she's the antagonist for kicking her mom off the couch and not making that right in the, in the correct way, in my opinion. Um, not for helping her friend, because <laughs> she seems to be very confused about what people are taking issue with. Um, so yeah, what do, you, what do you think? I agree, she is the antagonist. She, yeah, don't go... What's the word good for if you're going to tell mom? You can sleep on the couch and you come like, oh, sorry, mom, I forgot about you, but you're booted. Oh, no, no, no. That's I still feel like you're taking this personally. <laughs> um, I, I have never done this to you. <laughs> Just... team, team mom says she's the antagonist for booting mom off the couch. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's all for this one. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.